Hi guys, Brett Parker here, Handicapped Scratch. Today I'm down here at Sandy Way Golf Club in Cheshire. Um, I'm going to be showing you a bit of where my chipping's at. So um, specifically I'm going to be showing you the techniques which Dan's taught me this year. Um, not in too much detail but kind of the, the idea behind the techniques. Um, and then give you a brief kind of overview if you like of showing you some of the shots that I'm playing. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. This could be quite difficult for me to explain, obviously, with the camera in my hand. So uh, what I'll do is I will explain it now and then I'll overlay the video afterwards. So uh, basically the first technique is getting my hands forward and then not setting the wrists in the backswing. Um, so I preset them, move my way back, move my way through. Um, essentially what this is is a bump and run. Um, the difference being Dan's got me using my 58 degree wedge for the bump and run. Um, reason is, it's a bit of a nicer shot. It gives me the ability to play over things as well as not just um, a normal bump and run where you, you kind of almost the, the rule of two thirds, where you play it a third and let it run on two thirds. So um, where there's a bunker in front of me, but it's very low, I can almost play this shot to bump over. Um, and then let it release out towards the hole. It's a very, very good uh, shot for percentage shots. So it, what I mean by that is it's the high percentage shot. I'm gonna get the best results out of it the most amount of times. So yeah, that's my first one. Bump and run, we shall call it. Uh, next one. The next uh, chipping one that Dan's given me for this year is it's a standard chip, shall we call it. Um, it's an ever so slightly open face. It can be obviously altered to suit whatever uh, more open to go higher less open to obviously just kind of leave it at a standard loft um, the theory is get my hands level with uh, my belly button not my hands preset so they're, they're very much neutral um, in the, the center of my belly button on the way back I'm going to be cocking my wrists but only slightly almost kind of that smooth motion as opposed to uh, in a full swing where I would really be trying to hinge into to get that lag at the top and come back um, this is a very smooth uh, cock and then just holding that cock coming through. At the point of impact, I'm feeling like the club is overtaking the hands, so I don't want the, the, the hands to be passing the ball before the club. The reasons I think of for that, although I'm not a coach, is if my hands pass the ball, then I'll have a tendency to dig it, which makes it less consistent. Um, Whereas if I allow the hands to pass the ball, it can almost use the bounce under the ball. So it can just go under the ball nicely, a nice shallow arc, um, and kind of lift the ball up. Um, this kind of shot, it kind of lifts the ball up very nicely, lands, but then releases out towards the hole. So this is perfect for those shots where you've got um, a little bit of green in front of you, but then there's something that's maybe stopping you, water, bunker, um, a ridge in front of the green, which you don't want to bump into. Um, this kind of gives you that shot to lift it up, land softly, release out a bit. Third shot, uh, we'll call this the putter chip. So basically it's very, very close to your feet um, and almost playing it like a putter, but with a loft. So all this is doing is lifting it, it's landing dead and releasing out a little bit. It's perfect for those green side ones, maybe in the rough, maybe on the fringe, um, where you're just looking to get the ball going really. Uh, maybe there's something in front of you that you can't put through and this is perfect for just lifting it up Maybe a couple of inches away it goes um, It's very again very very good for percentage shots. It's very predictable and you kind of know what you're gonna get Finally, uh, we'll call it the flop shot although it's not a traditional flop shot now what I mean by that is it's not a Hit it as high as you possibly can, but it is a bit like a flop shot uh, So with this the stance is a little bit bigger hands drop in between my legs um, open the club face and play the normal flat shot. For all you people that are quite keen out there golfers, this does represent a very big portion of what a flap shot is. Um, but the stance isn't quite as open, I'm not trying to hit it quite as high, I'm looking for a bit more percentage shots. Um, so I'm not looking to just try and throw it up as high as possible, I am looking for a little bit of consistency with this. Um, what this is going to do, it's going to lift the ball up nice and high, but then drop and land fairly soft with a little bit of run. They're my four shots, they're my four chip shots that I've got uh, coming into this year. At the minute, they're very, very new, as in I learnt them this week. So for me, they're, it's just all about bedding in at the minute. All it is, is is hitting as many balls as I can, trying to get strike and consistency, um, and kind of just get, trying to get a feel for it almost, and trying to see how they roll out um, onto greens and things. So 
for me right now it's all just about practice 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 trying to bed these in and then hopefully going back to Dan and then him either working to improve on them or giving me more chip shots of varieties to put in um, one of the big things I said to Dan was that I don't have enough variety maybe I don't have enough variety I, I don't understand when to use certain chip shots so um, I struggle with the ones that should be really easy for example if I come up short on a apron for a green in the pins at the back I've got all this green to work with I guarantee I ain't getting very close so uh, Dan's gave me a few chips which are very predictable very percentage shots and will allow me to get within decent putting range um, so that's the technique that's the four chips that's um, what I'm working on at the moment for coming into this new year um, I'll then take you down to the green now put you on the green side and kind of show you uh, me working on those four different chips Do you know the way back to other days when my heart was innocent? I cashed it in for pocket change. Lost my way with nothing gained. I've been singing songs and I've been working hard, trying to catch a shooting star. But everything is foreign here, clouded up and full of fear. Just take me home. Okay, so that's all the chipping techniques done. I think it was quite clear which one uh, isn't my favourite. The good thing is, the one that isn't my favourite, the flop shot, is the one that I should be using the least. So it's the most inconsistent. Uh, it's the most inconsistent shot. Um, it's very, very difficult to get it consistent in terms of weight, in terms of strike, in terms of trajectory. Everything is very, very difficult shot. Dan quite rightly pointed out in the lesson this is if this is a shot i need a lot it's more of a course management issue as opposed to a chipping issue uh, by that he means that if i always need this shot then i'm missing greens on the wrong sides i'm missing greens with no space so if the pins at the left um, i'm missing it left well that's a course management issue not a the fact that i can't play the shot 
Um, so I will keep that in mind. I will try and monitor if this is a shot I feel like keeps coming up and keep thinking this is the shot I need to play. I need to play this slop shot. Then I will speak with Dan and we'll get close management um, sorted first. So yeah, that's my uh, four chip chipping techniques right now. There will be more. I'm sure there'll be ones which Dan brings in with different flights, different spin characteristics, maybe don't run out as much. Um, there'll be loads, loads more uh, chipping things that obviously I need to learn, but these are the ones that Dan's got me learning right now. Um, so that's the end of this video. Uh, I thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this style of video, give it a like. Com uh, comment down below, are you working on your chipping this year? Um, and if so, what kind of chipping techniques are you using? Are you using any of the ones that are in this uh, video? Um, if you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do so. All you need is a Google Gmail account, which is also free to set up. Um, just to simply click the subscribe button down below. Thank you very much for watching the video, and I'll catch you in the next one.